back to Farming Simulator and quick video on log files and debugging. So I do quite a lot of tutorials on making edits to mods or to maps or to whatever. And quite often if you do those and you make mistakes, you can spot that in the debugging and in the log file. So I'll show you how to activate it in a moment, but to give you an idea of what that looks like, so if you hit, I think it's the um, graph key, I'll put on the screen which key it is on your keyboard. And it brings up this window or this overlay. Um, it's the overlay that it brings up, it's, it's called the game console. If you press it twice, you can then uh, type things in there, a whole load of console commands. I'm not gonna go through those. I did use them in my needs new save video, if you remember, because that was before um, Easy Dev Tools existed. If you press it again, it goes away. You will see on the screen, we have some red text. Red is bad, generally. Um, in this case, it's because I have a prefab in my mods folder, which the game can't load because it's not a mod, so it's not a problem. Um, but it does nicely highlight what you might see if you were trying to open your save game and things weren't working and you weren't sure why. Um, if you opened this up and saw some red text, that would point you at what might be wrong. You might also see yellow text, that is for warnings. Those sometimes you can ignore, sometimes you can't. You might find they start to affect performance and things like that. Um, so if we click on a save game to load up, um, you will see that stuff starts to scroll by on the screen. Um, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to see, but it's basically it's loading everything up in the background. Um, pretty much. Uh, yeah, you'll, you'll see. I think this, every map includes some warnings, which is you know, maybe a bit annoying, but they're, they're not problems um so they weren't they were actually they weren't yellow so it's fine and you can see now we have on the screen information um so if you've done an edit to a map and your game is loading and it gets stuck quite often it will tell you in this overlay that you can see on the screen what's the last thing it tried to do that it's got stuck at so you could maybe go and look at that it's the same text as in the log file but you're seeing it live as the game is loading um, so we'll go out to the desktop now. We'll have a look at how you enable this and also where your log file is because that might be useful if you don't know. So you are going to want to go into Documents, My Games, Farming Simulator 22. Um, and then we're going to go in to the game file. Um, open that up and then we're going to go down the bottom and where it says Development, where it's got controls, we want to put that to true. I have it set to true already. You've seen it, it will possibly say false when you open this up, change it to true. Um, and also just make sure that logging is on. So if logging is here, file, true, text, log.txt. So if you wanted to change your logging somewhere else, you could do that. Um, so if you do, once you've done, changed that, save it, close it. Um, just a quick look then in the log file. Um, so again, if I'm, if I'm trying to help you with edits that are fading, I might ask you for this. If, you, if you're on the Maze Plus Discord and you're having problems, we'll quite often ask you for the log file as well, because it will have things in it that are helpful. Um, like, for example, the, uh, if I can find it, the error that we had that I can't see now as we were loading up. Um, there we go. Um, so yeah, it will have that in it. You can search for things like error or warning um, on the Maze Plus Discord. We will quite often see if you have 4 million mods in your mods folder and 15 maps, because that's probably why you have a problem. Um, yeah, so that's the log file. That's how to turn on logging. Hopefully you found this vaguely useful. Um, I tend to like it because the particularly the on-screen debug stuff, um, if I'm editing things and I'm loading the save up, it will tell me quicker where the problem is. Um, if you've been watching my Greenlands videos, in fact, if you watched the last Greenlands video when I was editing the fermenting silos, as I was loading up the save game, I had debugging on and I saw a bunch of warnings. So I closed the game, I went out and fixed them. So yeah, it's really useful. Um, if you found this video useful, click the like button. We do not smash like buttons if you smash the like button you have to buy me a coffee link below um 
comments or questions or whatever stick them below and if you're new subscribe turn on notifications and uh, i'll see you next time